So I've worked my butt off for two days to just have to work my butt off again, man. Sweating like crazy. I shouldn't have to do that out of a, a spray wax. Welcome back to Fabro Mode Detailing. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Wax Shop's Deep Reflections and Shine That Blinds. Let's do it. So I do have fans on, that's the noise you guys are hearing in the background because I had to shut the garage. When I got done doing the polish on this, I left the garage door open and come back out and there was dust all over this black paint and it was driving me nuts. So I had to, I used a compressed air and I wiped it down, shut the garage door and hopefully we don't have too much dust left over on the surface right now. The Wax Shop's uh, Deep Reflection is a Carnuba based polymer sealant. So it has Carnuba gloss, it's supposed to, Carnuba gloss, but also give you the long lasting protection of a polymer sealant. Uh, they say on their on their video four to six months, which for this car doesn't get driven very often. It's got 28,000 original miles and it's a 1994. So this will last at least a year, if not longer for them. And I, what I wanna use it for more than anything, cause I wanted to use a Carnuba on this anyways, the Carnuba, I want, to, I want the, the gloss of a Carnuba wax. So this is the first time I've used this product as well. Um, Deep Reflection says that it's a high quality blend of Brazilian Carnuba wax and synthetic sealant technology provides the rich warmth and gloss of a wax with extended protection of a sealant. You can apply it by hand or by machine. Watching their video, he actually shows that you can actually put it on and as soon as you're done applying it, you can remove it. And he says it comes off just as easy if you let it haze up and then come back and remove it. What I'm going to do is like one panel at a time. I'll do like, I'll start on one corner of the hood. I'll do the entire hood and then I'll come back to the corner I started on and we'll remove it or I'll put it on a fender and then I'll put it on a door and then come back to the fender. That's how I'm, I plan on doing it. I'm not gonna do the whole car and let it haze up. I'm gonna do it like that. And then what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna follow it up with Shine the Blinds, which is their spray wax, Carnuba spray wax. I like to use a spray wax or a detailer when I get done removing wax, just in case I missed a spot of wax, this will pick it up when I go over and wipe it down. Shine the Blinds says that Brazilian wax emulsion especially formulated to deliver maximum performance in a convenient spray form. It provides outstanding gloss, shine, and protection in a matter of minutes while admirers will thank you spent hours. Now, it does say to miss three to four per panel, gently spread and wipe with a folded microfiber towel, turn microfiber over and wipe to a high gloss streak, streak free finish. The 94 Mercedes, if you guys saw the video, if you haven't seen the video, I'll put it up here somewhere so you can find it. I've already done a full paint correction on the car and the paint looks absolutely amazing, 90 to 95% I'm in that range of defect removal, which is what I told them I'd be able to do on this car. And the car looks awesome. So I want to use the Carnuba. I want to just boost that gloss, give it some protection and make this car look as good as possible. So let's get the camera set up. Let's get going. Okay, here we go. Deep reflections. I'm gonna be using my Greer's Garage G21 with a black foam finishing pad. It's a very, very soft pad for waxing or sealants. Shake it well. Up top. We're gonna do four, just like he shows in the video. Very runny. As runny as that is, it might be too much. I hope not. Hopefully I don't spew it everywhere. He says it goes a long way. Oh, it has a nice cherry smell to it. Very nice smell. We're spreading it out. I can do this whole section of the hood. There's a lot of wax in there. Heat it up. Not worried about hand speed at all. You're just getting the wax spread out. I'm blocking your guys' view, I'm sure. And that's it. It's that simple. Once again, you're not worried about hand speed when you're waxing. 
You're just worried about getting the product spread evenly. Okay, so as you can see, it's spread across the hood nice. Nice and neat. Very easy to apply. It doesn't seem to go on real thick at all. So let's wipe it off. All right, I'm using Griot's Garage's PFM wax removal towels. These are my favorite wax removal towels. Now let's see if it's dry, because it's only been a couple minutes since I did it, and it's actually, yeah, it is almost dry. But it says to let it go to a haze, it's to a haze, and plus he shows in the video, you can take it off immediately. Let's see how easy it is to take off. Very easy. Flip it over and kind of buff it. This is the buff side of the towel. Paint feels really good. It's very slick. Okay. Put the GoPro in my hand this time. Show you guys what it actually feels like, looks like. See? couple swipes and it's gone. The buff side. There's little spots around the hood, like around this emblem that I'm gonna put wax by hand. I will, I will do these parts I can't get my polisher in to do, you know, around like here. All right, let's take a look at it here. I'm gonna get the big camera. Sorry, there's a bunch of background noise. Like I said, I got these fans going. It's hot. All right, so I've taken this side off. This side I have not taken off. Let's just see what the paint looks like with my paint light. Switch hands here. Still some left on there, and that's why I like to use the spray wax. Let's see what happens if I. The downside to dark paint like this, you can't really tell. There we go. Yep, I have to go over. That's why I like to use the spray wax right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the spray wax just because I want to see. You guys see those lines in the paint where you can see my polisher was going around? Having a hard time getting those to come off. For some reason. And I'm telling you, we it's very humid here. Which has a lot to do with it because that puts a lot of moisture on it. Yeah, we're still about 80% humidity today as well. Which puts moisture in the product as you're using it and can make it hard to remove. So that's why I like to follow up my Carnuba waxes and sealants with a spray wax. So let's go ahead and see what this stuff does. I'm gonna be using Shiny's Details 500 GSM edgeless microfibers. You guys, I love these things. I can't say enough about them. They are $20 for five, extremely soft. You won't, you won't hold a better towel for $20, I'm telling you. And edgeless, and they just keep working and working and working for me, even after washing them. And I use a 3M's Towel Clean. That stuff makes these even softer, so. All right, we're gonna shake it up. I'll turn it on. 
I'm just going to do one section here. Yeah, because the fan's going to blow my blow this stuff all around. Let's see if this will remove what what's underneath of it. That flashes fast too. Oh, that feels great. It feels really good. Smells good too. Everything smells like cherry from them. For whatever reason. Yep, as you see, they're gone. I get you down here where I didn't use it. Let's see, it's got yep right there. You can see it really well. Up here, it's gone. Those marks I just showed you are gone. That was great. That's why I like following with a spray wax. So I got done using the spray wax on the hood. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up because it's so glossy on the screen. There is some streaking, and I've tried to get that off of there, and I can't get it off of there. So I'm going to have to hit it again, I think, with the spray wax to see if I can get it off there. Other than that, it seems to be working really well. But I'm seeing, yeah, there's some more right there. I don't know if you, the camera, I don't think, is going to pick it up, you guys. This black color. Everybody always wants me to detail black cars, but sometimes on black cars, you can't see stuff when it's glossy like this. So um, let's move on. All right, spray wax is done. Car looks amazing. Oh, by the way, I did use the carnival wax on the wheels. I didn't film that. But I'm going to put, make a tire shine video really quick, and then we will be doing the final result part. Let me show you what I'm talking about with the streaking. Hope the camera picks that up. I mean, that's, that's terrible. This paint was perfect, man. Now I gotta go back over and try to use, I'm gonna use a different pr company's product and go back over, I mean, this just looks awful. So I had to go back over it with my Brilliant Finish Rinseless Wash by Greer's Garage. I saturate the blue towel with the hose, I spray it on there, and then I wipe it clean. Streaking is gone. It's the only way to get rid of it. Man, that's a pain in the butt though. I tried Best of Show Detailer. That didn't work and that always works, so. Spray wax is a no-go for me. So I've worked my butt off for two days to just have to work my butt off again, man. Sweating like crazy. I shouldn't have to do that out of a, a spray wax that you have to buy online. I mean, I, I expect to have a product out of like Walmart or something like that, but not a product like this. So I'm out of breath. Let's get on to the final results now.
So that's it for the Wax Shops Deep Reflections and the Shine That Blinds. Shine the blinds is an absolute no-go for me. It worked great in here in the garage. I seemed like, I was like, man, it, you know, the paint felt really slick when I got done with it. But I showed you guys, look, I mean, look how bad I'm sweating. I showed you guys the streaking. I tried to show you inside. I don't know if the camera picked it up or not, but I hope, hopefully you saw it from outside. It streaks really bad. That is not something you expect out of a company like the Wax Shop is streaking. That's my opinion. I, I'm having problems. Maybe it's the heat or whatever. I don't care. It shouldn't do that. Deep Reflections, though, is a great wax. I'm not doing a water test, as you know, so I didn't do a water test because I had basically rewashed it by hand because um, she's already on the way to come get it, so I don't have time to do water test. I gotta present it to her like this. Um, this works great, easy on, easy off. It gives really good gloss, and if it's supposed to last up to six months, that's perfect for this car. And the black just looks wet. It looks dripping wet, as you guys just saw. Hopefully I made a really good final scene for you guys. I try my best to edit those to make it look kind of cool. But just like it shows, gloss is great. Shows it's got really good protection. Let's hope it does. I don't know if I'll ever know, to be honest with you. I'm not gonna be able to do update videos on this, but I wanted to use their products because they sent them to me. This is not a paid video. I'm not getting paid for making this video. They sent them to me for free because I had somebody in a comment tell me, yeah, sure, somebody, a company sends you products and you do it for, and they don't pay you. Yeah, sure, I believe that. Well, it's true. They sent, I have tons of products that companies have sent me have not paid me which is fine, it's free advertisement for them and I get free detailing products. That's a win-win in my opinion. But this is definitely a two thumbs up product. Just not the, the spray wax, it's just not. I'm really happy with the way it turned out with their polishes, with their wax. The car looks absolutely amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed these last couple videos. And uh, I've got a tire shine video. You guys already saw the tires, so you know what they're gonna look like. But I got a tire shine video coming out from another company's product. I'm sweating my butt off. Um, and uh, it's really hot and I'm ready to be done with th this video and I'm really ready to be done with this day. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there and then ring that bell so the next time I upload a video, you get notified. Don't forget every Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do go live and I'd like to see each and every one of you there.